so hello guys in this video we are going to solve some problems based on the inverse transformation as well as on the uh, based on the how to show the transformation is regular or we can say irregular okay so basically we have to show the transformation it is given over here it is regular okay regular transformation we have to show for that we have to show that determinant a is not equal to zero that is the point here and write down the inverse transformation okay now proceeding with the how to show the regular transformation first of all we'll write the transformation in the matrix form which is nothing but y is equal to ax so y we have this is three dimension so we have y1 y2 and y3 okay and which is equal to what a a matrix is given so you have to write the coefficients we know it is a1 a2 a3 correct so you have to write in this order itself so 2 1 1 1 1 here 1 1 2 1 here x2 is missing so you have to leave it there as what 0 1 0 and minus 2 okay and here x is there x1 x2 and x3 okay this much you have to understand that so how to write this basically it is a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 and c1 c2 is missing so it i have uh, given here it is at zero okay and c3 is there it is minus two remember always sign you have to remember okay uh, note the sign and mention it now here we need to prove that it is show that it is regular so for that you have to prove determinant a is not equal to what zero so we have to see the determinant a so you have to find the determinant of this matrix now we'll find the determinant of this matrix see here how to find 2 into you have to take this part correct you have to leave this row and this column i hope you know how to find the determinant 1 into minus 2 minus of 0 into 2 so anyways it is not there so 1 into minus 2 what is that 1 into minus 2 it is minus 2 okay now here i will take this part it is 1 but you have to take what minus 1 then leave this row uh, column and row will be getting 1 into minus 2 minus of 1 into 2 it will be minus 1 into 2 mi minus 2 minus 2 okay 1 into minus 2 then minus of 1 into 2 that is minus 2 then here last one it is plus 1 so you leave this column and row 1 into 0 minus 1 into 1 it is minus 1 so you have to find this so 2 into minus 2 it is minus 4 minus 2 minus 2 it's minus 4 into minus 1 it is plus 4 and 1 into that is minus 1 so what is the answer it is minus 1 so which is not equal to what 0 so this we got it as which is not equal to 0 hence we can say that determinant day is not equal to 0 then the transformation is what regular okay regular or we can say non-singular the other word of this is non-singular so non-singular matrix now the thing here is that next thing we have to find the inverse transformation so we know that it is given as x is equal to a inverse y so we need to find a inverse for that uh, i am not going to do the inverse by step by step i will go on i will rightly write the uh, a inverse so if you want to learn the, how to find the a inverse just go to the uh, video section in my channel or you can see the i button there so you can get it over there okay now so we'll write the a inverse so i'll directly write x x is given as what x is given as x1 x2 x3 now a inverse a inverse you have to write a inverse is nothing but we know that a inverse is adjoint a by determined a okay so you can do this and find out a inverse so i have directly have the answer of that it is nothing but 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 4 5 3 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay so this is the a inverse you have to find the a inverse then you have to write it here okay into y y is nothing but y1 y2 y3 
now we have to just write the inverse transformation how to write the inverse transformation simple thing you have to make the equations that's it how to make the equation you have to write x1 equal to i'll show you how to write x1 equal to because equal to sign is there write this whole thing how to write this whole thing i'll show you just you have to do multiplication 2 into y1 plus minus 2 into y2 then minus 1 into this thing you have to do this okay so you write it as what 2 into y1 so it is just check it up whether the a inverse is correct or not okay okay fine so 2 into y1 minus 2 into y2 then minus 1 into y3 that's it then x2 equal to then see this one and see this one minus 4 into y1 plus 5 into y2 plus 3 into y3 then x3 is equal to 1 into this thing so y1 minus y2 then minus y3 that's it this is the inverse transformation of this uh, this thing just take it up that whether the a inverse is correct or not i'm a little bit uh, i'm sure but still you just take it up if it, this is wrong then this whole thing will be wrong okay so just check it up once so you have to find the a inverse then you have to put it here don't directly put this vertex over here it is a inverse remember this 